Did I ever show you guys what Vicenta did to the door? Okay. I have a long story for you, but long story short, I did the same thing when I was younger, but I was actually oh, older. Sorry, dude, I couldn't open it. We're taking the hatch. Yep, the hatchback. It's too low. Yeah, how dare I say that, huh? It's too low. It's just too low. Yeah? Let's see if uh, Mr. Blonde is back. I think something happened to Mr. Blonde. Yo, what's up everybody? Good morning, good morning, and I actually came out here to meet somebody from OfferUp, so I'm not at the house. I had to go to the bank first, and then I came over here to Paradise Hills to meet some dude at the Ralph's to buy some Recaro seat rails. The seat rails are gonna lower my seats tremendously, so I won't be sitting so high. I don't know if you can see, hopefully we can do this test after, where I'll be able to have a little bit more space, but I, my shoulders, I don't know if you can see, so that's how much of my shoulder yeah. exposes through the door. So hopefully it'll be half of that that goes away. So I'll be sitting way, way lower. But who knows? Because I don't know. The guy that I bought him from wasn't a big guy to begin with. But he did have him in his hatch and he had him on stock seats. A lot of times you have these Recaro rails and people will put them on aftermarket seats. So I don't know how these uh, these stock um, seats are going to do with them. We'll see, right? Vicente's having a hard time. Not a hard time, he just wants to get out and play. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then, relax. So let's go to George's shop. I think that I'm gonna at least try to do the passenger seat at George's. If I'm able to, then I'll go ahead and do the front seat. But if not, hi, how's it going? Have a good day, we'll see you at Jorge's shop. So I'm hoping that today's video is just going to all be about um, installing the new brackets if my rims are so hot but that's what my hope is so hopefully they're direct bolt on which they should be there's going to be some modifications that obviously I have to make like I'm going to have to take off the rail from my stock one and put it onto these uh, bottom the bottom portion of the rail and that should take care of that if not it's all good we'll see what happens but these are the rails oh, no. and they should they should fit this uh, my hatch and they should also fit um, an Integra but we're gonna be using them for the hatch so I'm about to take off the seats four easy bolts on these seats and then we're going to be able to see what's going on underneath and hopefully we'll be able to figure something out from that point and see what it is that we have to do in the words of tj hunt and his crew you're probably asking yourself have i ever done this and and the truth is i've never actually i've removed my seat before but i've never actually taken apart the rail so hopefully it's pretty easy and hopefully i have all the tools <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? Good evening, good evening, and I just got out of the store. It is now 2.58 a.m. while I waited with an associate for her Uber, or whatever, Lyft, Uber. And I am excited about today because I just chilled out today. I really wish that I would have had my hatchback here with me tonight, but under the circumstances of just closing and, and my car being out here by itself for a while and me really having to focus on the store, I don't really bring my car at night. If I have day shifts where I know that I'm gonna be off early, then yeah, I do. Um, but for most, for the most part, I try not to leave my car overnight anywhere, uh, but at work especially, because I know that there have been instances when cars have been stolen, not necessarily my specific make and model, but I know that it is something that happens at complexes like the one that I work in, the strip mall, is what it would be considered. That doesn't necessarily bring me to my point. I just felt like I wish I was driving my hatchback right now. Here I am. I am about to go back to my house. I had a great night closing with the team that I had. 
I wish that I was able to do more, but I got some major things done tonight that I feel like were looked at by my peers and also my, my store manager as accomplishments for the store that we needed to get done and i think at this point now it's all about maintaining that consistency and just demanding more from myself have you ever been at work and just kind of realized that maybe this isn't the job for me and then sat back and thought okay have i actually done something differently to really try to progress in this job if you really feel like you've done everything possible to do everything that you could potentially do at your job by all means maybe it's time to move on but if you feel like there's any part of you that didn't get a chance to to become a manager and you know that you had it in you i would say challenge yourself to do those things because at this point everything's possible have a good night